Lil Wayne has heaped high praise on Future, crediting the Atlanta rapper with having the greatest rap mixtape of all time. Wheezy, who himself is renowned for his prolific mixtape output, sat down for a chat with frequent collaborator 2 Chainz for Complex's Goat Talk series. When asked what the greatest mixtape ever is, Wayne, without hesitation, answered 56 Nights by Future and DJ Esco, although he didn't explain the reasoning for his pick. For his part, 2 Chainz selected three, including his own true religion, plus the dedication by Wayne and Trap or Die by Jeezy, all of which were hosted by DJ Drama. The pair also discussed their favorite diss tracks, with Tunchi naming What's Beef by The Notorious B.I.G. and Titty Boy going 4 Hit Em Up by Tupac. 56 Nights was Future's 15th mixtape and released in 2015. It was hosted by DJ Esco and mostly produced by Southside. The tape included the hit single March Madness, which became one of the biggest rap anthems of the decade while being certified double platinum. Wheezy and Future also collaborated with Drake on Love Me, off the former's 2013 album I Am Not a Human Being 2. The track was Wayne's 18th Billboard Hot 100 Top 10 hit and Future's biggest record to date at the time. As for his own decorated output, the Young Money leader recently discussed his ability to put out phenomenal guest verses. Speaking on his Apple Music show Young Money Radio alongside guest Tyga, he said, when it comes to them verses and them features, I admit there's a me that I turn on for features that I do not know what the hell goes on. I don't know that guy, I just know he always comes through. Addressing his Young Money signee, he added, me featuring on someone's song and killing the verse is just as sure as this man, Tyga, putting out a hit out. What Snoop said. These motherfuckers right here, we don't miss. Lil Wayne was recently named one of the top five best rappers of 2023 by Hip Hop DX, thanks to his show-stopping cameos on tracks like Nas Never Die and Benny the Butcher's Big Dog, as well as his Welcome to Callgrove album with 2 Chains.